mentee, man. My mentee pretty much just received a net pay of over $8,000 in one day. And I'm talking about net pay, not gross pay. The gross was $10,000. He received a load for $10,000 to basically run his oversized load from Charlotte, North Carolina to Atlanta, Georgia. Man, that's why I recommend for you guys out here, man, go get you an open deck trailer so that you can start hauling these oversized loads out here, you know? So real quick, I'm going to break it down on the whiteboard, how he was able to achieve a net pay of over $8,000. But before I roll off into his story, let me break it down, man, to you guys. There's a lot of people out here don't even understand how to haul oversized loads. You know, so there are different types of oversized loads. There's going to be oversized loads that's not going to require pilot cars. And there's going to be oversized loads that requires pilot cars. So let me break it down to you guys real quick on what loads are not going to require pilot cars. So loads that are 12 feet and under, 12 feet and under. basically requires no pilot cars. It's just going to require you to get permits through, you know, for every state that that truck is going to pass through. So 12 feet and under, basically no pilot cars. We'll call it PC for pilot cars. And then you got 12 feet to 14 feet requires one pilot car. So if that load is 12 feet to 14 feet wide, it's going to require one pilot car. And the pilot car is basically an escort. So at the beginning of this video, when I was riding down the highway, just to give you guys a visual of how basically an uh, oversized um, setup looks, you know, when pilot cars are need, needed, you will have one pilot car if that load is 12 to 14 feet wide. And if that load is 14 feet to 16 feet wide, it's going to require two pilot cars. And like I say, a pilot car is basically the escort. So if it's 12 to 14 feet, it's going to require only one pilot car and that pilot car is going to be in the rear and if that load is 14 feet to 16 feet wide, it's going to require one pilot car in the front, which is going to be the lead. And it's going to require one pilot car in the rear, which is going to be the trail pilot car, right? So this is just a quick breakdown on what it even takes to haul these oversized loads when we're using these pilot cars, right? So now let me roll off into basically my mentee's story. So he received this load for $10,000. Basically, this load is going from, like I told you, from Charlotte, North Carolina to Atlanta, Georgia. It's about 245 miles. So now he has to pay the pilot cars. The pilot cars are charging him $1.60 per mile, and that's per pilot car, right? So with him, he's hauling a load that's 15 feet long, I mean, 15 feet wide. So his load is 15 feet wide, meaning that he needs two pilot cars. Anywhere from 14 to 16 feet requires two. So he needs two pilot cars at 160 a mile. 160 times 245 is about, it's close to $400, I know that. So he has to pay $400 times two so he's at eight hundred dollars that he's paying these pilot cars right so now he has to deduct that from his ten thousand dollars so he's down to about ninety two hundred just based off of having to pay you know the pilot cars the company that you're hauling these oversized loads for they're going to pay you as the trucking company very well because they know that there's going to be a good amount of expenses that has to come out, you know, of this load too. But they're going to pay you enough money to make sure that you're able to pay everyone that basically you need to hire to help you accomplish this mission. 
his permits was around $300. You have to get permits for each state that you're passing through. So he had to get three permits, one for North Carolina, South Carolina, and one for Georgia. So his permits are about 300. So we could say he's at about 1100 already gone, you know, based off of his permits and for the pilot car. His fuel, I think he said was around three or $400 that day for, or it might been, I don't know, it was around three or $400, 245 miles. He's getting about six miles per gallon. If you guys ever want to figure out how much it's going to cost you in fuel, basically take the mileage divided by, what is it? The mileage divided by, uh, the well, it's going to be the distance. <laughs> so it's going to be the distance in miles for the load divided by how many miles a gallon do you get on the average on your truck times basically what is the price of diesel fuel now? That's going to give you a good estimate on how much it's going to cost you in fuel, you know, too. So I could break that down later on in another video. I just want to basically share with you guys real quick on how my mentee profited over $8,000. His truck and trailer is already paid for too. And I think that's one of the most important things. And if it wasn't, he'd have a truck and a trailer note, you know, too. But since he don't have a truck and a trailer, no, basically his overhead is $800 for his pilot car, $300 for his permit, and then we'll put $400 for fuel. So now we're at about $1,700 right there for fuel, pilot cars, and for basically his permits, right? So now... No truck, no trailer, no, no unexpected maintenance. Nothing happened, you know, on that trip at that time. My driver was able to see over $8,000, you know, when we're talking about the actual profit, you know, outside of his overhead that he had to basically pay to accomplish the mission, right? So that's why I recommend to you guys out here Man, go get you an open deck trailer. Start hauling these oversized loads. They're very lucrative. There's a lot of people that like to shy away from these oversized loads because they do require a lot. You know, they require a lot of coordinating. He had to coordinate to get the pilot cars. He had to coordinate to get the permits because he's my mentee. And when I mentor people, I'm going to show them and tell them how to get things done too by themselves. If he would have outsourced and had somebody hire these pilot cars and had somebody go get the permits for him, the price could have doubled too because now you're playing with the middleman. Now that middleman wants his money. He know how to go get his own pilot cars. He know how to go get his own permits. So he's doing everything on his own. So there's a lot of people that's going to shy away from these loads because they fear the coordinating part. You know, you got to make sure that you understand this trucking business and know how to get, you know, these specific styles of loads pretty much taken care of and completed out here, too. So, man, real quick video. I share with you guys just some general information on what are pilot cars, pilot cars or escorts. And basically, anything under 12 feet, you don't need a pilot car. You just need permits. 12 to 14 feet, you need one pilot car. 14 to 16 feet, two pilot cars. You know, general information for you guys out here. So once again, big salute to my mentee who just achieved the net pay of more money than the average trucker out here will achieve in a week. He did it in one day. Man, let's get it. If you guys have any questions, hit me on my text message, 317-953-8943. Go visit my website, www.extraordinarymovement.com. Go get you 30-day free trial with DAT. Go sign up with TAVS, Trans and Financial Services, if you guys are looking for a factoring service. If you guys are freight brokers looking for a factoring service, go sign up with Axel Payment. Everything in the description box below. Let's get it. CEO, commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great CEO. out there. CEO.
commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.